All right. Welcome to week two of ABC's of Google Plus Gombok Me Style. <laughs> and uh, we have, um, there were three people this week that said they wanted to uh, join in. A couple of them said they had questions. Hopefully they, they join. We sent the link out. One of them got that link and has joined us. We have Sheila B. Dubois here. By no means mm -hmm. a uh, noogler here on Google. She is um, definitely an old hat and uh, knows her way around this, so we're expecting some good things. Um, about every time I encounter her uh, in a hangout, and we've done it a couple of times, she is always teaching me things. Yay! So I'm, I'm excited to... Oh! I am playing somewhere. Hold on. <laughs> So that's You're about how long the delay now. is. Um, there were three people. Doing You're such a new. I, I was playing on my own <laughs> blog in the background. So just in case you want to see this, it is at dennisdeuce.wordpress.com as well as here. Um, so, and our main host, I'm really producer, the one with all the uh, ABC love is Sandra Watson. Um, <laughs> here to, to help us out, make the most out of Google+. Plus. So, um, now I gotta say, the, the two of you were involved in that conversation um, about music um, and me being the groupie and stuff, and uh, it got me to thinking, and um, so I've come up That's with a jingle. That's dangerous. Theme. It is dangerous. <laughs> I've got a jingle for the ABCs of Google+. Plus. Are you guys ready? We're ready. Okay. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, Google+, Plus for you and me. Oh! oh I had a whole bunch more. I, I forgot. <laughs> so, there you go. <laughs> you know, you know what's funny, Dennis, is I've been going around all all week with the ending of it. You know, now I know my ABCs. Google Plus is good for me. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, yeah, you got a player already. already. Yeah, I put down, but I forgot it. Um. Now, if you're gonna get a triple here singing, forget it. I sing solo. Solo, no one can hear me. <laughs> So, uh, Ryan, um, I sent you a link to your uh, email. Um, Ryan's watching, and he's checked in, that would allow you to get in here and join this. I'm going to send that link one more time to you, Ryan, so check your email, and I'll send it to both accounts. Um, while I'm doing this, can somebody else uh, man the um, mics? Man the mics, okay. Man the mics, take over. Talk amongst yourselves. Oh, you just want us to talk. That is no problem. If you wanted us to do anything with controls, you have to do it. But we can certainly talk, right? Yes, we can talk. <laughs> what, what do you want us to talk about? Well, I think that... <laughs> Google Plus. Um, the, one, the one thing is, uh, today we had decided last mm -hmm. week that we were going to discuss um, the importance of the profile or on the about page and a good photo for your avatar. And uh, Dennis is going to talk about the profile page. He wanted to talk to that in length. So why don't you and I talk about the importance first of the photo. Um, personally, I think that before you go any place on Google+, Plus, once you set up your account, the um, profile picture is the, the next thing that you do. Um, because if you have no picture in there, basically you're a blue head in Google land, and the algorithm and everything just kind of overlooks you. They consider you non-existent. And for people that are in Google+, Plus, if... Uh-oh. Um... Uh-oh, I hit eject by mistake, but I unejected her. She should be back in a second. Oh. oh, I was trying to blue box her in the middle of doing everything else. Um, Let's see. Okay, she's muted, and anyway, uh, yes. Maybe uh, it wasn't me that did that. I just um, blue boxed her. She's muted herself. Uh, yeah. 
and blocked. Anyway, I'm going to say yes, the most important thing with your profile is to have a profile picture. Blue heads are creepy. That's my that's my technical talk for blue heads. Yes. But, blue but but even with the newbies, they're not creepy. But new people who do join Google Plus, yes, profile picture. It's a picture of who you are, not some photo you have grabbed from the internet, right? Um, yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. It needs to be a picture of who you are, um, and I think uh, you should work on making it a picture that shows a little bit your personality. Um, yeah. I think that's important in my opinion and you know I I have I'm actually gonna pull up here my own uh, preset and you'll be able to see the picture that I've got which is a, a picture of me in a white hat because I always wear the white hat but I'm actually leaning forward and I'm tipping the hat because here on Google Plus a hat tip means that you're giving credence to those who deserve it. You're kind of saying, hey, mm -hmm. good job, great post. Um, and so I want to be known on Google Plus as somebody who uh, gives back. Yep. Um, so, you know, that, that is part of my personality. Um, and, you know, I think it's important that you try and find a way to say, this is who I am, if you can. Mm -hmm. I paid 40 bucks for that photo, and it was worth every cent. Well, good. I just I used my webcam. <laughs> <laughs> Sandra! Um, I hope I you didn't... I Sandra went. I'm trying to get her back here. Um, if I hope you... Did you do the eject button? I said no when it came... When it popped up, do you want to eject her? So, hopefully... Because... Um, <sighs> Once she's ejected, it is there nice. She is. Oh, here she comes. Good. Yay. Yeah. Anyway, this is. Okay. Lots of fun. You're back. And you know Sandra. what? I did not touch anything. I I think I did it because um, I was doing too many things at once. Well, I figured if I went out, you'd come back and you'd go out in the Internet and search for me someplace. <laughs> well, we, we, got, we got blue heads covered. Do you? <laughs> Yeah. Well, that so, was what I was talking on today. So, Dennis, <laughs> no, I'll yeah, add, no, no, no. I'll <laughs> add to the rest of it. Of course, it's not an issue. <laughs> but beyond blue heads is um. Oh, did you put in, Did you talk about the fact that they had to be face on, no sideways? It no. has to be okay. Well, it, for Google, it's very important that you are face on, two eyes facing forward. Uh, because they use facial recognition and that whatever you use on Google Plus, that same photo you use on all of your other social media um, avatars because they want it consistent so when they go out and find you, they are recognizing you and what you're doing. So that's a very important thing because a lot of people, you know, they'll do a far away photo or they'll do sideways or they'll put their dog with them and their family. That's not what Google's able to see. So it's almost like not even having a picture in there for your uh, recognition um, for the search and in, in, in recognition. Uh, we did talk, to, we did, I did mention that, that you need to use your own personal photo. Yes. 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 Yeah. Not some model, mm. unless you're a model. No. <laughs> no, mm -hmm. because it's all about authenticity, believability, and um, uh, knowing that this is who you are. What Google is trying to create is a, a profile of you no matter where you are. This And it, all they have to do is see your picture, and right away they know, Google does, that this is, quote, Sandra Watson or Dennis do. So that picture is as, the same as your signature. And I change mine out every <laughs> once in a while. Well, it's okay if you change it all over. <laughs> I mean, I think that keeping them relevant to, I right. mean, we all age, if you keep the same photo that you had 10 years ago, that's the other thing. Then when I see you on an HOA, it's like, whoa, who's that? <laughs> I, you know, that's wishful thinking. I want to stay young. <laughs> well, I, I think we all do, and I think that's a good thing. But um, if we want to be... Um, 
uh, in quote real digital right. the same as real life then we want to if you walk up to me in the store you're going to recognize me certainly if I've lost a hundred pounds you may not but then you're going to start seeing me like that so that's why you want to change that photo out is as you change in life right. it's, it's real time <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, exactly. The other thing is that's really interesting about that profile picture that people don't realize is that um, because of neuroscience, I'm going to get off on a track here, our brains do not um, uh, talk in words. When I'm talking right now, you're creating images in your brain. That is how our brain talks. So whenever you see my avatar, you are associating with that with me. And if you think about it, many times when you go some on some site and you hear the name, um, well, for instance, my name or yours or Dennis's, um, I immediately put that avatar in my mind. I don't see the picture that I'm seeing right now. Often it's the avatar that I see. So if your picture is way off from what my brain remembers, what that pathway that it's created for who Sheila is, then it doesn't com compute. And it's like, whoa, it says, uh, not real, not right, there's something wrong here. That's probably a, a pretty good correlation as to what goes on in the algorithm when it's doing its face recognition. That if it sees something that is not normal to what they have seen before, it's like, no, this can't be Sheila. And so it, it, it spits it out. Hmm. Interesting to know. So that's good. <laughs> so I've got a question for you guys. I've always Girls. wondered this. What right. about um, face on but with sunglasses on? No, because no. you can't see the eyes. So Google still can't recognize that? No. No. Okay. They want to see your eyes because they're doing the whole profile there. And um, people have, you know, wanted to do that. And, you know, they do many times. But the answer is no, you really should not do that. And, and even your profile picture, Dennis, it's great, but we're not seeing both of your eyes. You're not face on. Apparently. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So if you did it face on you tipping your hat, it would be okay. Like you are right now, just put your hand up there. That's fine because it, well, you still want to hold your head straight. You want to hold your head straight, straighter, and look at me. But that's not a ta tip of my hat. That's me touching my brim. Well, but but that's exactly what they want, though. They want that head-on profile. When you have your passport picture taken or your driver's license, they don't let you tip your head or turn your face or anything. You know what they do. They say, no, look straight ahead and look <laughs> whatever. So uh, however you can do it, it's fine. But you just want that uh, face on, face on, face on, face on. <laughs> Okay, so and, and my it, it, it depends on whether totally or not you want. Cool, is not good apparently. What now? My avatar, which is totally cool, is not good. No, okay. I hate to I hate to disturb you about it, but it will it could and will in the future cost you some search because it's not giving that facial recognition. They can't see you. Right. It's like you're hiding somehow to Google, and the the essence of that is if you're hiding, what are you hiding? I mean, it's it's very interesting the psychological implications of what they're trying to do. It's they they don't want us to be something other than who we are. Now yeah. later on, you can put those pictures any place you want. You could put a cover photo with all of the pictures of you tipping your hat next to your avatar if you wanted to on your profile page uh, to get them in there. But that that avatar is um, it's your hover card, as you know. When that's another topic, but it's it's Dennis Deuce. It's who I know. And now you're really contemplative. This is really scary. <laughs> Now I spent three dollars on that picture, and I love it. And well, I just I might love it too. Anyway. Uh, and I think that's a, the case with a lot of pit people. We put on there something that we love, and that's great. However, it's unfortunately this is one of those cases where it's not what we want. It's what it's what is uh, going to help us in letting people know who we are, and especially not just people, but Google. And right. then when you put it across the other social medias, the whole thing is, 
I'm recognizing you, I say, oh wow, there's Dennis again. Even if it's just Dennis with his hat and not tipping it, I know it's Dennis. Okay. And maybe you want to do a, uh, a one in a series where you're tipping your hat and you're getting that uh, GIF and you put that on your profile page on your <laughs> uh, so that you get that in there. And then people are getting your personality with it too. Yeah, yeah. Don't you don't have to show it as a profile pic, but you can just show it as a post picture post. Right. Yeah, it, it's frustrating. I I totally get you. I'm, I I it understand. Gets seen once or twice. This to me, this image is you know. I mean, here I'm going to screen share it up in big and bold. Um, okay. okay. If I can, why is it not loading? Well, I don't know. There we go. <laughs> so, I mean, I can see both my eyes pretty clearly. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm, I, I hear everything you are saying, Sandra and and Sheila. Um, but to me, it's this is a picture that says. A whole story about who I am, um, and and what I'm doing here on Google Plus. This is not just, uh, you know, an individual photo. Um, maybe you're right. Maybe Google can't recognize it, but I've seen it show up in dozens and dozens of, uh, you know, searches so far. So, um, well, if that if it's showing up, then it's working. Yeah, you know, I, I get those thumbnails um, of myself. Well, I, maybe you have enough of your right eye showing, Dennis. Who knows? I'm just telling you what I have <laughs> learned and read from Google themselves, and this is what they have said they yeah. want you to do. So, you know, um, everybody has to make their own decisions on it, and if you think it's working, then yeah. go for it. Okay. I uh, Quick little thing here. Um, see, I've never done this before. Oh, Ryan uh, can't. Ryan can't log on yeah, with Ryan his current can't OS. log in with his current operating system. Um, so sorry we missed you, Ryan. We also have uh, asking to join in was uh, I sent the link to her. Let's see here. Who's that? Veronica. Oh, okay. I don't know Veronica. Uh, she's new um, to Google Plus, uh, and uh, I just met her recently too. So uh, I've been talking to her, and I sent her the link to the Hangout, not to the panel, but to the Hangout. I, I sent her a link to the panel because we still had two open slots. Right. So Veronica, uh, you know, check your private messages because um, I'm not going to send that to the world. But right. uh, <clears throat> we'd be happy to have you join us if you would like to. Um, so. Uh, hang on a second. My overlay just got turned around. Let me fix that. Okay. <laughs> We're having fun today, aren't we? We are having all sorts of fun today. <laughs> good times, good times. Okay, so um, I wanted to talk about uh, a the, more in depth on the profile. Most specifically, not how to do a good profile, but how I go about reading a profile. Um, to decide whether or not I want to follow them. So, um, when I come up on a profile, and I'm doing my, my own, let me see, let me view this as public here. So, this is what you guys would see if you came and looked at my profile. Why are there no messages to display? That's weird. <laughs> You're on delay, remember, probably. Got me, I don't know. <laughs> that is bizarro. Because I don't have my posts. Let's try it over here. We see it now. Okay. There we go. So, first thing I do is I come in and I look at this picture right here. That's the very first picture I personally look at, is the cover picture picture because I find I mean blue blue faces yeah okay that's 
you know, a newbie thing. But there are lots of people, even with a thousand or more followers, who still haven't updated this cover picture right here. And um, I think this is a huge opportunity to for you to tell the world kind of what you're about. Um, I change this one fairly often. Um, but, uh, you know, right here, this is my own artwork. I did that piece, and it also is an auto-awesome. So, Sheila, you can expect to see lots of auto-awesomes if you follow me. Um, and then, you know, you've got the basic information here of who you are. Now, the next thing that I do after I look at that is I scroll down um, and I check a couple of, um, you know, different feeds trying to see, you know, what is this person about? And one thing that I don't like to see is what I'm seeing right here in my own post. I've got, um, now this you're seeing because it's shared privately, so you normally won't see this from me, but it's a great opportunity for me to show something that I don't like to see. And if I see this, I will follow you immediately. And on top of following you, I'm going to put you in the needs help circle that I have. Okay, but what we're seeing here is two posts, one after the other, with the same information. Okay, that's not a good thing to do um, from the standpoint of it's bothersome when people look at your feed. It also says to the person, you're a spammer, um, and it says, you know, you are um, probably not very knowledgeable. A lot of people will not follow you if you have that. I personally believe that I'm here to help people get more out of Google+. Plus, So I do um, put you in the needs help circle. I probably would also add you to the circle for uh, ABCs of Google+, Plus, uh, so that you get invites to that. Now, these are shared privately, so normally you wouldn't see these, and the reason that you're seeing multiples of these is because those are the invites that I have sent privately to people to, to join this um, Hangout on Air. So the one I sent to Ryan, the one I sent to William, the one I sent to Sheila, um, that's what those are they are showing up. Um, do you guys have, on the feed, do the two of you have anything you want to add to that before I go on to the next thing I look at? I want to bring, I wanna bring uh, up, Dennis, what you just said, because it might be a little confusing to people that are new to Google+. <clears throat> because you sent a private message to someone that's still in Google language is considered a, a URL of its own and searchable to Google. Um, not searchable by the public because it was private, but it does get its own page and its own URL, and it is considered a post, and that's why it shows up in your uh, feed under your um, post because it is considered a post. Right. Everything you put on there. So just keep that in mind. It's still private, but it is considered a post to Google. And it'll be searchable just by only the person that you have sent the invite to. That's searchable. Right. Right. Correct. But to so Google, it's searchable. Were, so if Sheila were to go look at my uh, profile, she would only see one of those. But if Sandra went and looked at it, she wouldn't see any because I invited Sandra to this a different way. Um, and so, you know, it just depends on, you know, how, um, how I invited you to this, but, yeah. Okay, any other points on, um, tips and ideas on making your, you know, a good first impression on your feed? Well, there's a lot of things that you can do on the feed. <laughs> I think, um... What are, you know, what are you looking for? When you are looking to circle someone up, Sandra, when you look at the feed, what is it that you personally are looking at? Well, the first thing that I notice if I, you know, am I, I'm seeing someone in a feed and they just share something and they put absolutely no comment with it. They just share it. It reminds me of a Facebook share where it's just, you know, I'm just going to pass it on, pass it on. And my question always is, and I learned this, you know, very early on, why do I want to share something? Why would they want to see it? And how will it help them? 
those three things in mind, if you just share something into the feed, it doesn't tell me anything about that. It doesn't tell me why you liked it, what caught your eye about it, why it was important to you, and therefore why you think it's important to me because just you know, continuing share after share for no reason is like um, going back to the old days and some of the old social media, I guess, just trying to get uh, visibility. And I don't see Google Plus as being that. So first off, that's, a, that's something to me like, number one, they may not know why to do it. They've just been told they should share. Or number two, they've been on a while and it's just an easy, quick thing to get out to all of their followers. And for me, that's a little bit annoying because it's like, well, what, it, what is it about this? I want to know more about you. Why did you like it? And then mm -hmm. I can't comment as easily in a conversation if I'm not getting anything from you. So that being said, if you do share it and you then don't um, give uh, a plus mention to whomever you shared it from, that again tells me that you're losing uh, the punch of it for yourself. Um, because you're not getting other people who may have looked at it or who have posted it to notice you because they, they're not getting any feedback. They're not getting notification that, hey, somebody shared this and this is who shared it and they mentioned me and I appreciate it. Um, what I'll do a lot of times when I see something like that and it's somebody I haven't seen before and I've seen them a couple of times, I will then go to their um, profile page and read their about page and see what's going on. And if I see nothing in the about page or very little, that tells me, number one, um, either they don't... Hey, Veronica. Hi. <laughs> um, Veronica's on, Dennis. Yep, I saw her pop okay. in, but... Uh, anyway, it, tell, it tells me then when I go there, if I'm not seeing much, that means that, number one, they either do not know what to do with their profile page, they've just left it alone, or number two, they're really not going to share much. And if they're not going to share much, I'm going to keep an eye on it and I'll go back and check. And I also, um, you know, over a period of time, if they haven't changed it, then I'm not going to give them a lot of my time because it tells me they're really not giving me enough of their time to let me know who they really are. That's how I look at it, Dennis. And I mean, everybody has their own way of doing things, but I got on Google Plus mainly because I loved the conversation. I thought it was so cool the way people interacted and I could know about people. And um, let's say you have a service that I'm really interested in. I can, I can see where it can help some of my clients or some people I know. But you're not telling me enough about you. I can tell you, I'm not going to share you. It's just like uh, the butcher down the street. He may have the best meat, but if I don't know enough about him, my reputation goes along with my recommendation. So if I don't know enough about him, I can't recommend him. And the way you're going to get to know about people is the engagement. Right. Um, and that's really the biggest difference about Google Plus from anything else. Uh, last week we talked about my personal rule um, of I, I before I put up a post I try and and write three paragraphs about why I'm putting this thing up there what I got out of it and what I think other people will get out of it and then I usually try and drop a question in the end of that as well um, do you get a lot of responses to your questions um you know, I don't, but when I do get a response, because I'm putting the questions at the end, when I do get a response, I know for sure that um, we're going to be, that, that this person really read the whole thing and is interested in, in that post. Um, that's part of why I don't put the questions at the beginning. I put them at the end for that very reason. So it's like a uh, um, statistical analysis. If they read through the end, then you know people are reading more of your posts. That's a good. That's a good uh, analogy. It's it's like the uh, red M and M's. Have you ever heard that one? Uh uh um, This was something that I think it was Van Halen used to do. Um, they they had in their contracts that. Uh, they were supposed to have a bowl of M&Ms in each dressing room and no it wasn't red anyway it was a color and the, all of a particular color of M&M was supposed to be taken out of the bowl 
the whole <laughs> reason for the purpose of doing this was they then knew if that wasn't done, they had probably some major problems going on. It was only just a, you know, quick, like you said, statistical way of analyzing once they got to the stadium, can we really let the people that are putting on this show run the show, or do we need to jump in and take control? And that was the so first I thing they I always can... checked. So, yeah. That's, and, that's whether or not they're listening to what I'm saying and paying attention and how important it is. So it really is giving you some valuable feedback because it's telling you, um, I've asked a question in this, uh, I mean, maybe you could take it further and just use it on certain types of posts and see which kind of posts then get the responses. It's an interesting um, study of psychology, really. Ooh. So <laughs> and Sheila, we can only see you from the uh, middle of your eyes up. <laughs> yeah, Veronica, pull back a little bit. I mean, not Sheila, but Veronica. Thank you. There we go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there are I my like pajamas. <laughs> It, it looks like that home improvement guy where you only see him from the nose up over the fence. <laughs> well, I'm kind of leaning, so yeah. Well, yeah. There yeah, you I'm go. Just, this is just really interesting just to hear all this stuff because I don't really have anything to offer. I'm just learning. <laughs> well, yeah. another another piece of advice when you when you know you might be coming on air, be dressed. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm not. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yes. That happens. And somebody has music in the background. It must be uh, Veronica. Yeah. yeah, my husband My husband plays the violin and he's practicing. Okay. okay, you might mute yourself when you're not talking. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, Veronica, before you mute yourself, um, mm -hmm. do you have a question for, uh, for us, something that you have been wanting to uh, know about... Google Plus that we might be able to help you with. Um, I'm. Can you hear me? Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm. I, I. don't really. I can't formulate a question because I'm just uh, kind of overwhelmed with the amount of information. Um, I guess the biggest question for me is just how do I get rid of? I guess the, I know the answer. I. I'm just in. I have a, too many of them. I have too many. Google Plus accounts, and I just didn't know if there was a way I could get rid of the Google Plus without getting rid of my email account, but I guess I got that answer. But I don't know. Uh, Sheila, she and I talked about that yesterday. Do you have any words of wisdom to help her with it? I, I gave her my opinion, and so why don't you and Dennis give yours? Hang on. Phone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's your reason for wanting to, so you're wanting to, you say, get rid of your Google Plus? Yeah, I because I started this YouTube channel and um, I kept making mistakes and so I was starting it with different emails, which okay. I didn't realize would follow me around for the rest of my life, but um, it has. <laughs> so finally I got one and I did it right and it's, it's, that's the, the one I use, but now I have all these other ones that, but I want to keep the email addresses that I use, well at least one of them, but I want to get rid of all the rest of the accounts and I don't seem to be able to do that. You know, I actually personally have the same problem. Um, oh. <laughs> Now I don't know it. Uh, yeah, and and the reason so if you search for Dennis Deuce, you're gonna find about four of me. Um, the reason that there are so many is because uh, I've had various companies, um, and uh, they or worked for a couple of different companies, and the accounts were all run on Google. So even though you know you'd send me an email at you know whatever the URL for the company was. The uh, it was a, a Google account, so it automatically created a Google Plus account. Um, and unfortunately, I don't work for any of these companies, so I actually cannot go back in and turn these um, off. They're just kind of there. Um, nobody's able to manage them. Um, they're just sitting out there. And, and personally... I, I mean, there's probably some reason I should be worrying about it, but I, I don't because I'm very active building my brand right here 
Um, you know, and uh, you know, I just tell people, hey, if you're trying to circle me, it's the one with the white hat. Um, you know, and away we go. Um, I, I also did another thing uh, recently. I did this about four months ago. Um, I, you know, you can change your name, and I changed my name to include my middle initial, which is not on any of the other ones. So all of the other ones are Dennis Deuce, and the only one I'm active on is Dennis N. Deuce. Um, but I don't have, I've not even looked into, nor have I even concerned myself with closing those others down, because I don't think I can, because I don't work for the companies anymore that those are on. Uh, Sheila or um, Sandra? Um, but you create, you did you create the profile? Well, it was created um, under that email address, but the oh, login. All the work is, you're working. like, for example, I worked at SEO.com, and there's an account up there for SEO.com. Um, I also owned my own company, but um, when the company closed down, I let the uh, the monthly fee to Google lapse. And so I don't have login to either of those. I can't go check those emails. I can't go get into those accounts. I'm pretty much locked out. Um, so I just... You know, I'm pretty sure there is a way to get those accounts uh, killed off, is to contact the help forum and share with them the links and say, yeah, these don't work. I have fact, no, I'm no longer access to them. You can say, "Hey, can you get rid of them for me somehow?" You know, okay. and they and, or and they'll do it. Redirect them into the only one I'm using. Maybe they could do that as well. You know, yes, yes. I'm pretty sure you can merge. How do you do that? How do you merge them? I'm not sure exactly how to do that, but I know there is a way to merge accounts. But I'm there, not exactly there is sure. a, a help if you go to there is. Google, yeah, oh, okay. on how to merge it. But you have to be very careful and know what you're doing because it still right. has the possibility of closing down your current account um, on everything that I've read on it. So in those kind of instances, I think you're better off um, working with somebody that has done it before and having them walk you through it. Uh, another thing that if you do have the password to the accounts that you're talking about, um, what is suggested as a, um, a patchwork, if you will, is to go in and take out your avatar and just put in a picture of um, landscape or something like that and take your information out um, under the profile and so forth. So then if anybody does go in there, they will not associate it with you they will associate it with another person by that name. And you could also say, um, uh, if you wanted to, under works for you can say redirect and then put a link to your current one. That's okay. the other thing that I've heard is, is a good workaround. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Because right now, from everything that I've researched, there's not um, a, sh a, a true and sure way to tell somebody to do this without some really good professional help You know, to I tell you what to do. On another subject, I do have a question on the avatar. So I on my uh, on my YouTube, if you don't mind me changing the subject. No, no, no. <laughs> um, on my YouTube, I use a baby boomer social security card as my avatar. Is that a is that something that can be used for Google Plus or no? No. Social, no. No, um, we just. I don't know if you heard that. Um, yeah, I did. I heard your whole discussion. Okay. So it really matters. I mean. So, but if that's what I'm trying to use as the thing that stands for who my YouTube page is, that, and that's the most important thing to me, then... Here's the thing, Veronica. You, yeah. And I like to call it the unbranding of America. We, we have this old method of thinking of things that, you know, we all have our brand and, and you know, it's the businesses that we work for, but the reality is Google is systematically tearing that apart. What is now important is the human beings, not the brand. So what you need to be thinking about is not your brand as baby boomers, social security, whatever it is. Your brand is you. What you talk about oh, okay. is other subject. Okay. I, have okay. a, I have a tip for you too, is you could create 
a page, a page. on Google Plus, a page where you can use that avatar as the page, not yes. Veronica. Yes, and you can, uh, when you create a page, you can link the page to um, the YouTube account and then put, you know, the videos on there. Um, so, you know, I have a page for gombok.me, and sometimes I host my Hangouts on Air on gombok.me, and sometimes I host them on my personal account. It just depends on what I'm doing and what my goal is. Um, but you can you can link those together, and my gombok.me has this image, um, the the one just above my head, of that little, it's a gombok. That's what it is, um, as its avatar. So, but that's a page. It's a business. Um, you know, I still make it really clear that it's me, um, and I have actually been thinking about taking that avatar. Um, and laying it over the top of my own avatar um, as a faded out version so that you're kind of still seeing me through the uh, branding. Um, but I haven't yet done it. I've just been thinking that, you know, I, I want people to know I am Gombok. Um, and you, Veronica, are Boomer Tuber or, you know, whatever it is that you're calling your brand. Well, and the thing is, as you continue to post and you post things about your your passion, what it is you like, not just what your business is, but what will you know, what people might be interested in, different things about you. They're going to very soon figure out that this is who Veronica is. Um, that it is about baby boomers, it is about helping them and um, because you're going to be sharing posts and sharing information and sharing your YouTube videos in your posts. Um, so it'll become very clear at some point that, oh yeah, she's the one that works with the baby boomers. Um, so it's, it's making you visible as Veronica. I know Veronica, I know she does that. It's just like knowing George so-and-so is a cardiologist, but we don't talk about him as always being a cardiologist. We know who he is first. You have to get who you are first established before anything else around that really makes any sense to the rest of the world. I mean, you can push it and push it that, yeah, this is what I want to do, but I don't care about that. I want to know you first. Because yeah. until I know you, I don't know that you're authentic and real and believable. And that's what Google is doing. You're muted. Yeah. She's muted. You're muted, Veronica. I think you did it. Yeah. Yeah, I can't undo it, so it was you. Click it at the top. Okay, I got it. There you go. Okay. <laughs> what oh, were you, you muted uh, yourself again. You unmuted okay. for a half a second and then went right back mm -hmm. in. This is right. called the learning curve. Okay. There we go. Well, I'm just ha I do have another question. All these questions now are coming up. So what I don't really understand at all is how you get people, like if I want, because I was trying to use Google Plus as a way to distribute my, one of the ways to get the word of my YouTube channel around. And so oh. I thought... I thought that every time something pops up and it says add this person, I added them, that I thought that they got my my link to my YouTube channel. But what I found out was that they don't and if I email them then people get mad. And so, which I didn't realize I was even emailing them until I talked to Sandra. <laughs> and so how do I add people so that they can get the they things Veronica, um, yeah. if you circle them, they have to in turn circle you back in order to see oh, your content. Oh, okay. Yeah, they have to circle you, and if you circle them, go ahead and engage with them on their post if you like what they're sharing. If they are, if they're sharing the same similar content that you're sharing, then comment on their post and you say, "Hey, I circled you because." You know, and they might circle you back. You know, oh, okay. You know, and for to share your blog, I mean your YouTube, create a Pinterest account and share your YouTubes to Pinterest. That's another good option. Um, share it to your 
Facebook page to your Facebook friends. Um, I think she's writing. <laughs> yes, that's okay. But that's okay. Yeah, but Pinterest is a is another huge playground. You know, you can when you uh, on when you're on YouTube, you can hit share, and there's a whole bunch of links. You can share it to you can share it to Google Plus. You can share it to Facebook. You can share it to LinkedIn. You can share it to to Twitter. You know, I think. All of it. <coughs> <laughs> I think one of the main things, and I think that Dennis and I think Sheila, you'll agree with this as, as far as recommendations for Veronica, is that when you are first new to um, Google Plus, everybody wants to tell, we want to tell our story, what we do and everything. We want to get it out there. And there's no quick way to do that. It is a um, it's a gradual process. It's just like anything else you do. You didn't start out with 10 videos on YouTube or 20. You started out with your first one. It's the same thing in Google+. You start out with you know putting things together. It's connecting the dots, as you hear all so often on here. You start with your picture, then you do your profile, and then you start going in and adding people to your circle, and then you start reading your stream, and you start sharing things and responding to people that have already posted and eventually then you'll start posting but to think that you're going to do it all just because you're here this week or this month I think that that's a dangerous place to be and you'll get frustrated if you constantly remind yourself that this is a building process my reputation who I am is what I'm building I think that that helps everybody understand a lot more we've been around for a while I mean we're we're doing things that you will do someday too and you'll feel very comfortable with it you're just not going to be doing it right now um, it's like when you have surgery to change something after surgery you're all excited but let me tell you you don't jump out of bed four minutes after you wake up in recovery you have to get your strength back you have to learn how to do some things over again and that's what happens in Google Plus you're learning day by day and you learn a lot of things um, like Veronica and I talked about many things yesterday and some of it is going to retain in her brain it's going to come back but then some things it'll be like I know somebody said something I don't know who said it but um, this is what I know I need to do. So just remember, inch by inch, anything is a cinch. <laughs> it's like step by step, yeah. you know, line upon Baby line. Steps. Yeah. You know, and, and it doesn't hurt at all to follow some people with big names who really know their stuff on G+. No, they might not follow you back, but you're circling them because you want to learn something from them. And Dennis, I will show you that uh, taking a photo when you're video capturing in the middle of a YouTube that will share the that will share the sound. We know it does. <laughs> ah! <laughs> 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 okay. And for, for those that are watching, people in the panel that have been around for a while, and, and Veronica, okay. you know, we just do things that are fun sometimes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but yes. So, Don't be afraid yeah, to follow people. You know, I, I go. No, definitely follow people, um, and really. For about two months, I really didn't share anything. And, and I'm going to screen share my screen up. Take a look at it. I'm going to show you, and it still becomes most of my life. Um, I, When I am on here, now I, I searched Baby Boomer Community to do that. Um, but when I come on uh, Google+, it's all about the bell. Everything for me is about this bell right here. Who's commented? Who's engaged with my you know with my comments who's you know who's doing what what communities are active um, that I enjoy being a part of and I almost never look at my stream because I have so much to look at right here under the bell and you know I'll just go in and go oh okay well there were a bunch of shares and comments in this well let's go look at this thing okay well you know Oh, Sue Ann Kern, shout out to my friend in Park City. Love you, Sue Ann. Thank you so much for joining us. Anyway, um, but, uh, you know, this is um, a great place to just create engagement. 
um, with people. You don't want to come in here and push, 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 push. You're not going to get anywhere doing that. For about two months, I didn't push any personal content at all. Even though I was creating things, I had HOAs. I mean, yes, your HOAs, when you create the event, okay, then, you know, something goes up. But I didn't push those. I didn't tell people about them. I just was doing my thing, and mostly I was engaging with people who had similar interests. Um, and that's kind of the most important thing you want to be doing is just carrying on conversations and keeping those conversations alive. And you'll do it by, you know, first you'll go into your stream or you'll go into some communities and you'll engage a little bit, but then very quickly your bell is going to get so full. I mean, I don't know if you noticed, when I first started I had 21 notifications on my bell, okay? I checked that thing three hours ago, all right? and there were 21 new things for me to look at and deal with. Do you think there's any reason whatsoever for me to ever go here to my my home page and interact on my home page? No way. Everything happens in my bell, for me personally anyway. You know, and if you don't sit there, because lots of times you'll miss in that bell sometimes, you can go into your email and check yes. those posts and respond right from your email, especially if you're using Gmail. For your yeah in fact yeah. Uh, Sheila you you gave me those two recommendations for white dress shirts and I tried to find those in Google Plus and couldn't I, I used exactly what you are talking about to go back and find that conversation because I had told um, those two guys when they would be on what shows and I needed to get the event scheduled and I, I was I'll like, give you I'll give you a tip if you've already looked at it click the previous red. On your yes, I even did previous red, but there's just so much stuff in there. So much stuff. So yeah, to, just check your email. There's not a good way to search just those. So it's yeah. very easy to go in and search for that inside your Gmail account. Exactly. Well, and you know what, Dennis? <clears throat> I'm going to take us back to um, the ABCs a little bit the, because the a lot basics. Of, yeah, <laughs> because a lot of people that are going to be watching this are people that are still relatively new. And I can tell you for myself, it took a long time. I mean, Dennis used HOA, and it's like, okay, I've heard that. What I know what it is. That? What <laughs> is it? And we forget that people don't understand it, even though they hear it. HOA, just in case anybody's listening, is a live on-air broadcast. It's considered Hangout on Air. And I use the analogy, it's um, my own personal or whatever, whoever's doing it, it's their own personal TV station for an hour or two hours, however long they do it. We are being broadcast over airways. Anybody can watch this. This is public. And that is an HOA. There is another type, which is a private one, which is considered a hangout party in your stream. But that's another lesson in itself. I just want people to understand, when we say HOA, we're always talking about this kind of a broadcast, which is live, public, and over the airways. And um, when we're talking about even some of the things you were talking about, the little bell, Dennis, the very first couple of months I was on Google Plus, the only time I had a little bell was if Google sent me something, quite honestly. <laughs> I, because I wasn't even uh, communicating, I wasn't even going in and, and um, uh, making comments on posts because I was afraid to. I didn't know what people were doing. I saw people's other people's names in there with a plus in, or you know plus in front of it or whatever. I said, "What is this? I don't understand how to use this." And so, um, it's very intimidating sometimes for some people. Other people they'll just jump in and do whatever. But for me, I didn't have any notifications in the bill, so I spent a lot of time in my stream just reading and seeing how people were interacting. I mean, mm -hmm. you're, you're a good personality, Dennis. You're what I call the Mustang and, and the Stallion, if you will. You go out there and you just run forward. You're, you're like that. And me, I'm more of a little bit calculated. I'm like the racehorse that says, okay, I'm going to be trained before I go for that gate. And then I'm going to not stop until I get to the finish line. Um, we all have our own personalities in that sense. But I think... Um, you're right. I mean, now the bell, I just love, I mean, the very first time I had somebody say, you know, I got a notification, somebody likes something, it says, 
wow, they liked it. <laughs> At this point, you know, after three months, somebody actually noticed me. And then it kind of spirals. And at some point, it's like, wow, this is cool. I'm getting it. So Yeah. And um, it's kind of exciting. OK, yeah, somebody plussed it. They're not going to say they like it. They're not. They're, this is not Facebook. No. no. And and when you come here, many times people are coming from Facebook because they have been frustrated with, um, they're coming here because of business reasons. Mm -hmm. um, most people are not coming here from Facebook just because they want to socialize and uh, like they did on Facebook because they're very happy there, which is fine. Right. Mm -hmm. um, but I noticed immediately this was not like Facebook. <laughs> no. People, people talk and talk and talk. <laughs> and right. like the posts were like, you know, blogs to me. And I said, what is this? I don't want to read blogs. <laughs> and then yeah, as you well, study it. That's another tip, too, is people, when, like you said, drop links. You know, if you just drop me, like you said before, but I'll say it again. If you drop a link to your blog and you don't say why, you don't give a good valid reason for somebody to click that link. You know, I won't touch it if I don't have a valid reason. So, well, it looks like we have a couple. <laughs> we have a couple of late or someone. Better we? late than never. <laughs> yeah, Brian, are you driving? No, I just I just pulled in. <laughs> oh my god! So for I those of you who don't know, my wife Brian would kill is... me. My wife would kill me if if uh, if. Okay, if there we go. <laughs> Got it. We gotcha. <laughs> so, for those of you who don't know, Ryan is the other half of Pawn Boys. We have a riot every Monday morning at 9 a.m. Yeah, it's fine. Um, Ryan, so I understand you have some questions. You said that uh, the other day. Well, I, I'm just, I, you know, I, I'm trying to, mm -hmm. I'm trying to kind of realize in my head um, how this, how this is gonna this is going to benefit me in my business. Okay. And so I know that like the, the, the basic nuts and bolts and kind of how it works, but, um, in, in I guess in real basic terms, I, you know, I, I post to my, I post sometimes to my, uh, regular, I guess my regular G plus page, but I, I haven't yet posted to my business page, and according to you, Dennis, is that I don't that's... even have access to I it. Have, I, yeah. have a I have a tip for you, Ryan. Are you the owner of this business? Yes. Okay. Have you checked, like when you're on, on G+, okay, and you hover on that home button, and you'll see what they call local? Yes. You know, and look for your page. And you oh, and then you can say, "Is this your page?" And you can say yes, and you can link to it, and make that a page page on G plus. Not just you know, it it, it 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 will link the local. That's your like the GPS type thing where people can find you and leave you reviews and things like that. You right. can say, "Is this your is this your business?" And you can you can claim that. Say, "Yes, this is mine." Okay. Okay. You know that might that might help mm -hmm. with the s with the, with the pay drink. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I mean, my my questions are vast and a lot, so I'm I'm you know I don't want to I don't want to uh, you know kind of get off what you guys were doing. And, you know, I was listening before when I could, but um, I'm just. Uh, I'll I'm, give you a, I'll give you a tip if you want some help off air. I'm I'm willing to give you some tips and advice. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. So I'm just, just, just new to me. It's all it's all new stuff. I mean, obviously Facebook was. Uh, I, I have a Facebook page and I posted that, and I know this is a different beast, and I'm just trying to, just trying to trying to you know, understand it. So that's well. That's the one thing that I can tell you, I mean, since you do have a local business, um, it. <laughs> Being here is, is different in the sense you think that you're going to get some response, you're going to get some traction pretty quickly and everything, and uh, it's frustrating sometimes because it's like, why am I doing this? And when you first start a business, it's like, why am I doing this? I thought if I opened up the doors, people would be rushing in. <laughs> no. It, it, it doesn't happen. <laughs> I have another tip for you. You have your, you have your, you'll, have, you'll have a page on G+. Okay. Do you have a website? 
You, you know, can that's link. something I'm, I do. I'm, I, we're, we're in progress. One of the things that, uh, okay. you know, that I'm kind of doing in conjunction with this is working on uh, branding and, and, and my logo. And um, that, that, that was just a goal of mine even before, before I met yeah. that. Yeah, so when you figure that out and you can say this, yes, this is your page, you can link your web page, you can link your Google Plus page to your business page. Right. And and then you can tell all your customers, this is the web page, this is where we are at. Come find us. Right, right. No, I don't so. expect any kind of, I understand that part of marketing in general is repetition and uh, you just got. You have to be. You have to be um, patient. Patient with it. And and I am. I'm. A, I'm. I'm a fairly patient guy. I just want to make sure from the beginning I'm doing what it's going to take to get you know from point A to point B. Um, and, and that's 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 the big thing. So. so. Well, I, I think you're doing the right thing because you're asking questions. Right. No, that's that. That's it. And you know, Dennis is fairly you know fairly knowledgeable, and I'll ask him. I, I think we'll get there. You, what do you think, Dennis? Oh, we're definitely we're we're getting there. You're already starting to engage more. Um, you know, as as far as the questions, he has a uh, a Google Plus business page, but um, he doesn't have access to it yet. I created it myself to run his weekly HOAs on. Oh, um, that can be a problem. And uh, you know, we'll we'll give him access to it when um, when he's to a point where you know it's okay. It's worth him managing it. D to me, uh, there's too much going on. He doesn't need to be managing a business page and his personal page. So what I do is I post the events on his uh, business okay. page. And then I ping him, and he now knows they're there, and then he kind of can engage with it, and he can, you know, join in the conversation and and that kind of thing. But um, Ryan, Ryan's got some, you know, step one stuff that he's got to do um, before he starts running. The baby steps. Yeah. Yeah, I feel and like so, I'm six years old again, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's called the ABCs. I, uh, I understand. I understand. That's kind of the way it works. So, uh, so one last little tip here before we go, and then I'm going to actually uh, start to wrap up the show. Friends don't let friends videotape vertically, Ryan. Oh. Rotate, rotate your iPhone. So it's landscape. You know, oh. one thing. One thing. My my. Uh, Life is 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 a whirlwind of multitasking, and so uh, if everything's on the go, luckily you didn't get me. I, I guess it's lucky I didn't log on at home because I was feeding and changing diapers, and so I don't know how I. <laughs> <laughs> and you have a lot of diapers. He's got two sets of twins under what are they? Under five? I got. I have three-year-old boys and six-month-old girls. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So. You're yeah. Busy. It's it's yeah. crazy over there. Yeah, I was great. I was hanging out at his place before we did the episode where we blew off uh, cannons live, and <sighs> it was crazy. Kids everywhere, dogs everywhere. We're sitting here <laughs> oh, telling. Oh yeah, the two dogs. We're, that's right. We're sitting here telling him that you know patience is the virtue and getting ahead in Google Plus, and he's in a mode that he can't be patient too much because he's got to do 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 do. <laughs> oh no, yeah, it's yeah. For, it's uh it's putting out it's putting out one fire. I mean, I go. I come to my first job here, and then my second job at home. So it's just yeah. one fire to the next. So. <laughs> so. All right. Good deal. Well, we're glad you joined in, and uh, you know. Sorry, I was late. Post more questions, um, you know, in this feed. Uh, anything you want to know, just you know, shout out to us. Um, I've showed you how to ping somebody or or plus tag them. Just plus tag any or all three of us if you've got questions, um, and we're all going to be happy to point you in the right direction. It, see, again, I don't even know what that means. <laughs> plus tag, I showed you how to do that. You put the plus sign followed by immediately by the person's name. So plus oh, okay, okay, Dennis gotcha. and Deuce plus. You know what, Dennis? 
the word tag, I don't know if you noticed that, but I, I asked you that on, on our community the other day because people use tag in several references. It's not Hash, just plus tag. Yeah and, so, yeah, and so when you said plus tag, explain it, it's like, well, which way do you want me to explain it? Because most of the time it's plus mention when you're putting somebody's name out. Yes, plus mention. And yeah. Whatever you do, don't ever tag someone in a picture. Oh. Especially in the album, because then you'll get notifications for everything. <laughs> That's good to know. That's good to know. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. I'm, glad, I'm glad you asked that, Ryan, because I think that's really important, that uh, uh, tagging. Because even if you search it on mm -hmm. Google, you know, what does tagging in, in Google Plus mean? You're not going to get an answer. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> Because I went in there to find out. I said, okay, what's, let me see what Dennis might be referring to when he said that. And it doesn't come up under plus tag or tagging or anything. It, come, mm -hmm. it comes under other types of uh, explanations, which I found very interesting. Yeah, another thing, another tag is like if you do, if you're like on Twitter or whatever and you, and face and hashtags, you can create your own hashtag for your business type thing and use the tag. No. Okay. And that's, right. search, that's, yeah. search, that's searchable in the Google algorithms. I, I, a lot of people I'm are sure calling. New time, so. A lot of people are calling that the new brand, brand. Your hashtag, whatever your name is in your hashtag, they're calling that your new brand. Oh. Oh. Okay. Just for your information, it's kind of an oh. interesting conversation. <laughs> kind of a uh, kind of a, a cyber branding type. Right. Type. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yep. All right. Which is really okay. cool in a way. Yeah, I, I like anything anything that, that gets the brand out there. I, like I said, I'm really trying to focus on that this year, trying to get my brand, you know, to be the same on all my marketing. So, anyway. Cool. Well, we, we are going to have fun. I'm telling you, we are doing on Pond Boys HOA Hangout on Air, live webinar feed, whatever you want to call it. Um, we are doing things that literally Pond Stars can't do because it's scripted. We are just having a yeah. riot. Mon Monday's show is going to be an 80s retro show. I'm actually going to be riding a skateboard and a BMX bike he's got on pawn. Um, so, yeah, we do is all sorts a, of Is this a pawn a pawn shop? Yes. Yeah, he owns Lightning Pawn in Midvale. Really? Yep. Fun stuff. We might have to make a visit. Yeah. <laughs> come come visit us live Monday, 9 a.m. I've never shook in your hand before. You can come join us on Pawn Boy's 80 Retro Show. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, don't forget, Dennis, you said you were gonna, uh, going to bunny hop something. What were you going to bunny hop? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to set up a camera in his parking lot, and oh, I'm going right. to bunny hop right over the top of this oh. camera. The actual one. Uh -huh. that, yes, I can. We can just yep. see. Yeah. Oh my goodness. W without breaking. The, <laughs> we're gonna have fun on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> I don't promise. I don't promise I won't break the camera or my neck. See, you guys are laughing before you even see it. It should be fun. We lost right? you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I well, can tell you one thing. If, it, if no one else thinks it's mm -hmm. funny or has a good time, Dennis will. <laughs> That's absolutely true. I hope the rest of the world thinks it's as fun as Ryan and I do. But uh. now, did did you touch on the reason why you want to fill out the about page? No, nope. we didn't get there. We didn't get there. We'll have to um, do it in the next session. Well, just yeah. say, just say, just complete your profile picture. Complete your about section in your profile. You and I to, think we need to go into that in a little bit more detail. detail. Um, yeah, because. Yeah, because I th and I did put links, you know, to to go and look before people came. But I think that's a really important one, and it does take a little bit of explanation. Don't you agree, Dennis? Oh, you know, I think we can spend five to ten minutes on each section. Yeah, that mm -hmm. is in there. So I think that's you know a number of shows because what's obviously going to be happening here is we're going to have a lot of questions towards the end of the show um that we're going to be taking from from the guests as we bring them on so i think we'll just slowly work our way through getting your profile properly built um 
you know, and, and mine isn't even completely perfectly built. I It's a work in progress and, and always. always will be. Well, you know? I, I think the word perfectly to an about page is an oxymoron. I don't think there's anything that there's you nothing. can... Yeah, I don't think the word no. perfect fits mm -hmm. in there because it's what's appropriate for each one of us and um, who we are because we're all different. Um, right. And I think you brought up a great point, Dennis, that you change it periodically. I think it needs to be changed because our lives change. Right. People can get bored looking at the same about stuff. Right. Like, okay, is, doesn't she do anything different? Right. right. I know. Yeah. You know what? I'll tell you my, what my secret is. Uh, I spend time on everything, but... Pretty quickly, I get to the bragging rights because I want to see what they put in there. Yeah. If, if it's if it's a resume of their business, it's kind of like, oh no, can't you just tell me something cool about yourself? Like on mine, I I really had a hard time with that in the beginning. I thought I was supposed to put in all the things I'd done professionally, and then I started reading a bunch of people, and some of the things they put in were hysterical. One of the uh, the people that follows me and that I follow, he said, uh, "Mom always liked me best, isn't that right, Mom?" <laughs> and I just, it was like, okay, I know who this guy is. And um, so I kind of look at things like that. You know, what is it about you that you find unique? And on mine, I said, you know, I do abstract painting, and but I can't, I cannot draw a stick chicken very well. Oh. So um, I can't do that, but now my abstract art, I said, that's a different story. And so that tells you something a little bit more different about me than all this that you see now. And so I read those and I really uh, take note of that. That gives me a feedback on what my audience is that I'm following and who's following me. Make it, yeah. yeah, bottom bottom line is make it interesting, right? Yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah, br the two that, for me, that are the fun ones is tagline and bragging rights. Yeah, um, I love them. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, that's, that's really where you need to spend some time, get concise, and, you know, have some have some fun. So we'll start slowly working our way through building your, um, your not perfect. Um, there you go. <laughs> fun. You got it. <laughs> and uh, we will be back next week. 9 a.m. every week we're here and the community is out there ABC's of Google Plus um, it is a private community so if you are watching and you want to join that community just give us a shout out we'll let pretty much anyone in we just want it to feel like a safe place for people to ask questions now this um, th this community it's private but it's also searchable right yes okay. it's private but searchable and uh, yeah, and and I share a number of different things into their uh, tips, as does Sandra. Um, and you know, we also will uh, sometimes take uh, somebody's post that's someone that you know, like Ryan or Kirk Sherrod, one of my clients, uh, and we may just post, reshare that post into the community with some comments on either why it's great or what could have been better. It's a learning place. That's really what uh, what that private searchable community is all about so trying to keep it simple <laughs> that's easier for you than it is for me <laughs> yes <laughs> hey wait Ryan what are you saying you're a gem <laughs> I'm patient I'm patient. I can, I can, uh, I can take these flat and resolve be, be good. So I just got to stick. <laughs> I can, I can take All right. the piece at the time. I'm not, I'm not going to rush anything. So. <laughs> and that's, that's what this community is about. A piece at a time. Take it one step at a time. And uh, together, we're all going to learn, and we're going to get better at what we do, and we're going to have a heck of a good time doing it. So. All right, Agreed. until next Agreed. week, we uh, I thank you all for joining us here on ABCs of Google+. Plus. Thank you, Sheila, Tip for joining us. Please, please. Tip the hat. Here you go. There you go. Thank you, Sheila, <laughs> for uh, joining us this week. And uh, for... feel free to uh, come join us anytime. Yeah, you're you're a huge asset to... Uh, to this group of learning people and I, I really appreciate the friendship that we've started to create 
online, even though we've never shaken hands. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> and All right. And I'm I'm going to be a, do a shout out, Dennis. Thank you for joining my weekly photo challenge community. Oh my gosh, that group is. <laughs> so if you have any desire to have fun with photography? Sheila's group is just weekly photo challenge. I can't, I can't say enough good about that community. Just really a fun place. It's nice to see various people's take on things and. Uh, Everybody has, a, everybody has a camera. Many of us have multiple. That's right. So, yeah, if, if you want to have fun with photography, that is definitely a place to have fun with photography. So. Sorry. Sorry about my plug, but yeah. <laughs> hey, you know, Sheila, I just thought of this week's challenge is um, people at work. And I think uh, I'm, don't, I just don't might say nothing. Don't say nothing. Don't you. say nothing. No, not here. No, don't say nothing. <laughs> no, 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 no. He's laughing up his you don't work. These these pictures will not work. They have to be <laughs> with your camera. <laughs> this is a camera. Well, then you have to say how you got it. Then <laughs> that would that that would be a okay, trip. Okay, here. That that's a trip. Here, okay. Sheila. Here we, here we go. You want it with my camera? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I won't do it. I won't do it. I'll post it, but not in the community. Well, I'm just having fun with you, Sheila. I'm just having fun with you. All right, Sandra. Thank you so much. We will Thank see you, you all next week. Bye-bye.